Black Magic has moved a ton of different things in the DaVinci Resolve UI menus. And I want to quickly give you an idea of where those are because they weren't removed from DaVinci Resolve, they're just found in a new location. So the big thing that you're going to notice here is if I come up here, you're going to see that this list is significantly shorter. If we take a look back at one of the older versions, as you can see here, the list is significantly longer. Now, all of these settings are still in DaVinci Resolve, but they're more so just on the pages in which the setting would be active. The first one here are power bins. Now I don't wanna go over every setting and what its use case is, but this is a perfect example. Typically, if you want to have the same media in every single project, you would put media into one of these power bins. And every time you open up a project, that media will always be there. And I can show you a perfect example of this. If I go over into my edit page, because I make the YouTube videos with this particular project library, um, we can come over here and we can see I have power bins. If I go into here, I can see I have all the music that I typically use and let's say like my, uh, the little intro. So instead of having to drag this into my project all the time, these are typically settings that I always want to have on and put my media in here because every one of my projects that are in this project library are always going to use this media. So how do we actually turn this back on if we have it off? Uh, it's actually going to be right up here. We hit this little drop down, and now we have the ability to turn power bins on or show power bins as well as smart bins. So these are a few of those settings that are in that list where they just kind of moved it into the general area in which we would typically use it. So if we take a look back at the old way that we had things set up, we can see that we also have like, let's say split screen. We also have the uh, primary log wheels. And if we come up a little bit further, we can see that we also have wipe. Now wipe is a big thing that we would typically use and um, that is if we're trying to look at either reference media or if we have a grade and we want to look at, let's say, a different power grade or one of the other stills. So if we go over onto color, now if I come up here to these three little dots, we can see now we have those options here for all of the wipe and everything else. One of the things that I haven't been able to find is going from the log wheels to the color wheels, the primary color wheels. Now that is super easy enough by just using the keyboard shortcut and you always were able to just click between these two. Not really sure why that was ever in the menu to begin with, because I always felt like that would just be a keyboard shortcut or it's easier to just click down here in the UI. Maybe it was an old thing that has always just been around, but I don't see a way or where that ever has gone. I guess the last thing to note is all of the settings that were previously there are still in DaVinci Resolve. They were just moved, they were never removed. So by now you're probably realizing that a lot of these settings have moved into these three dot uh, menus. But what if we wanna change something that actually has to do with the timeline? We don't really have any three buttons here and this hasn't changed at all. And this is the one thing that, especially someone that has used a setting for so long that it kind of took me a little while to wrap my head around where it actually was. One of the things that I'd like to do is I like to use audio track layers. And as you can see here, we have three different uh, uh, layers here stacked in one track, but I actually can't see the layers. Well. Before, when we would click on here, there would be like this whole area that would have all of the things that we could toggle on and off, and that's typically where you would go. But now they kind of move things around, and it's gonna take a little while for my head to wrap around, but right here it is, I can click on that, and then I can actually see all of those audio track layers. Getting rid of that muscle memory, I don't, I guess that's the best way to put it, like always looking at the bottom of the list for the, the, like the single click, like show this to turn on something. Now they're just kind of scattered within this whole list. I'm not, I haven't really figured out why things are positioned where they were. It used to be at the bottom of the list, would have all the toggle, turn things on, turn things off, but now it seems like they're kind of scattered throughout. So for a little while now, I've been working on a new Fusion class and I'm pretty much done with the whole edit. The only thing I have to add in now are little sound effects for any time that I'm showcasing a keyboard shortcut that I'm using. And to source these audio tracks, I use Epidemic Sound. I've been using them for the majority of videos on my YouTube channel. And I want to showcase something that I really like about using them. They have a pretty nice website. If I quickly go into, let's say, hip hop, if I scroll down a little bit, we can see that there's these little microphones that's just stating that there are vocals. But the big thing that I want to show you here is that they actually allow you to download all of the stems for a particular track. 
And if you don't know what stems are, there are different portions of the song broken up into separate tracks. So if we come down here, we can see that we have the melody, which is going to be all the lyrics. Okay. And then we can come in here and hear the instruments. And so when we go to download this, we can say, okay, we want to have the full mix or we can get all the stems so that they're all broken into separate files. Uh, once I have them all in here and we can turn on, let's turn all of these off for now. So this is going to be the full mix, the whole song. I own this. But if we didn't want that and we just want all of the stems, as you can see here are all the stems. I don't say none. Same exact song, but let's say we want to take out all the lyrics. Just turn off the melody. Now we can edit without having those particular lyrics involved, or if there is something that we're trying to give more emotion and feel, maybe we'll take out the bass line or whatever it may be. We can take that out. So to be completely honest, that's a big reason why I like the service. Uh, but then they also have a plethora of different sound effects. If you ever need sound effects, you know, it's a great solution because it's all one uh, subscription. If you did want to take a look at Epidemic Sound and get a free 30-day trial, there is a link in the description to that. But with that being said, let's get back to the video. If you want a more detailed list of the things and their new positions, you can take a look at the link in the description. We'll go to my website and I actually show where every single thing is. A lot of this stuff was just moved, it wasn't removed. But if you want to know more about the Vint Resolve, I would say subscribe to the channel because that's all I talk about on this channel. But with that being said, my name's Justin. Thanks so much for watching. Until the next one, guys, peace.